well, we're up here doing some more logging, trying to give more room to these poor cows to get out of the muck as we wait for spring. And as we take the tree cover off, I notice that I have no grass. That's the thing to know. But what we do have is a lot of moss. And I think there's a, a belief, I might even go so far as to call it a myth, but certainly a belief that, that moss means acidic soil. And that while that can be certainly true, I, I think without testing my soil, okay, that's the important thing to know, without testing my soil, I, I think that the moss here is, can be the result of a number of different factors. Certainly the lack of sunlight. I mean, I, I've talked about this in other videos that it's so thick here with the dead and dying spruce that you can't even walk through it. So sun never hits the ground. So we're gonna fix that. I think potentially an acidic soil, at least slightly. I think a complete lack of soil fertility and I think just constant dampness. I think that if you combine one or more of those factors, you're more likely to get moss even if the soil isn't necessarily acidic, if it's in the dark and it's wet, you may get moss. So the way that we're gonna solve that problem is by clearing all of this off right down to nothing and um, just having the cows fertilize it and seed it. For the first time ever here this morning, I just put the skeleton bucket on the skid steer and uh, it's gonna be a stupid amount of work what else is new but um i'm really impressed with it you can see this little patch right here where i just kind of ran over it and then just dumped it here and yes there's still some dirt in it but a lot less dirt it doesn't help that of course this is still ice i mean i'm just right on top of the ice uh it's ridiculous but you can see the the almost complete lack of topsoil here it's you know an inch thick or something but what the skeleton bucket's gonna allow me to do is to kind of overturn all that moss, get all the little stumps out, get all the wood debris out. Just many, many, many fires over time are gonna need to be burned up. And then I'll spread all that, that ash around the soil, which of course will help with the acidity problem. If the soil is slightly acidic, then adding the wood ash will help alkanize it just a little bit. So I'm not sure that I have an acidic soil problem. I think, suspect I have a fertility, lack of sunlight and dampness problem. And we'll go from there. It's pretty cool to see cows and calves up here. Uh, even though this is a total, total mess right now, um, they don't actually seem to mind coming up into the trees. They actually seem to rather enjoy it. And there's, there's my Angus Highland Galloway bull calf who i'm just really stoked by i think that's just he's just such a blocky beefy little bastard i'm i'm really really happy with him um it looks like he's got some scours or something going on here though i just noticed that that's not so great um hmm huh okay well i'm gonna have to clean him up that's not ideal at all maybe when he comes back down we'll clean his butt all right, the life of a farmer. I better check him. All right, bye.